Hi, this is Dr. Vinay Kumar. I'm here to tell you something very important with regard to your children's progress in the studies. One of the frustrations that the parents have is when the children bring their progress report or their test marks, especially when the marks or the grade are less. When it is less, naturally, the parents feel like shouting at the child. The father, by seeing the mark, may be shouting at the mother and the mother helplessly will be looking at very pathetically at the child. What can be done? The child has already got that low marks or low grade. When you shout or when you beat the child, the mark is not going to change. That's for true. It's, it will not change. It, that's going to be the same. So there is no point in shouting at that child. The best thing that we can do is to make sure that in the next examination or at least in the future, the child is going to do better than what he has done now. And so the first thing we can do is to analyze what went wrong. Sometimes it may not be the complete fault of the child. It may be some other factors influencing their low marks. Uh, what the teacher has taught, the child must not have understood most probably. And so we don't know. So it, there can be some external factors that must have affected this mark. So we cannot blame the child alone. Analyze what went wrong. This is the first thing that you can do. In the next chance, meet the teacher concerned and find out, discuss your child. You, when you discuss, the teacher will be able to tell you which are the areas that you will have to concentrate. And we can concentrate on that next time when your child is sitting for studies. And definitely that will make him improve the standard of uh, his studies. The academic standard automatically will come up. Another thing that you can do is give room for the child to grow it's not that it's not enough that you tell the child go and sit and study you tell come let us study you take the child you also with the you also be with the child for some time and if you are there it's an assurance that you are with the child and give a pat at the back sometimes and that's an assurance i am with you and with the, those assurance or those words of assurance, the child will be able to do better, definitely. Don't forget to encourage the child. Encourage. Suppose the child gets one mark out of 10 in a test. At least he managed to get one mark. Appreciate that one mark. Instead of asking what happened to the balance nine marks, appreciate that one mark. And that can be a real motivation for the child to get that additional marks also. But whatever happens, never scold and never beat the child. You know what will happen? Once the child gets beating for the mark that he got, next time when he sits for the examination or the test, he will be thinking only about that punishment. And he will be tempted to get the mark by hook or crook. And that's the uh, time that he will start doing malpractices in the examination hall. He will try to copy or he will try to get the help from his neighbor, something. And what he wants is not to get the beating from the parents. And so he will do some sort of malpractice in the hall. To avoid that one, please don't beat and don't scold. Encourage, give maximum appreciation and encouragement can do wonders. Also, if the low, uh, grade is low continuously, try to find out whether the child has any learning disability or not, like dyslexia or anything else. Sometimes that can be the reason for the low grades also. And take him to a, a, a psychologist and then you will be able to find out whether the child has any learning difficulty. Thus, you will be able to improve the standard of your child and your worry also will disappear very soon.
these are some of the things that you can do when your child brings a report card that shows the marks are low i hope you understood if you like it share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel i'll see you again in my next video until then bye take care